Alright people, the next venture in our integration review is to go through and talk about higher order trig functions. Right. Um, over here, we see a nice one. It's not that bad. Some of you guys are like, isn't it cosine to the fourth over four? Or minus sine? No, it's not like that. Because this is a function, right? In the lazy notation, this is the cosine of x to the third power. Or cosine times cosine times cosine. So then, we have a... Um, a lovely product, uh-huh. So what we are doing is we're going through and we're trying to turn this guy into a U sub. For a U sub, what we need is we need um, a U and a DU. We're looking for the derivative. What is the derivative of cosine? The sine, yeah. So we're looking for an instance where we can involve the sine. So what we can do is go through and rewrite this guy. We can separate our cosine times cosine times cosine, and we can make it cosine squared x times the cosine of x dx. So you may be wondering why we would ever do something like that. The reason we're doing something like that is because we need to produce a co or a sine somewhere. Uh-huh. But we see cosine squared. Yeah. Ooh, isn't that one minus the sine squared x times the cosine of x dx? I do believe, by way of Pythagorean identity, we're good on that. All right. So let's take it further. Let's go more. All right, so we wanted a UDU situation. Originally, we were trying to produce a sine, but here now, look at this. Here, I'm gonna let U equal the sine of X. And then what's DU? Ah, uh, yes, the cosine of X dx. So then where I see sine, I can put U. Where I see cosine X dx, I can put DU. So this integrand now becomes one minus U squared times du and then I can go through and I can integrate that that guy that's u minus one third u squared to the third yeah because with these polynomials you add one and divide by it plus c t he t he one last thing to do back sub u so then my u was, um, wait, 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 there it is, sine x minus one third sine to the third x plus c, t, he, and you're done. But if you don't believe me, check it. Take the derivative of that guy. And after some algebraic manipulations, I do believe you're gonna come to cosine to the third x, derivative of sine, cosine, minus, drop that three, uh-huh, sine squared times the derivative of the inside, oh, cosine, ah, identity, oh, oh, fight, Adam, and you're done. A box. Separation of problems by flowers. All right, so over here in this other one, we do and we're still going through and we're trying to find U, D, U. So we take a look at the bigger one, the more complicated one, the tangent to the sixth power. What are we looking for? In tangent, we're looking for its derivative and what is the derivative of the tangent? Secant squared. Yeah, so then we're trying to produce a secant squared. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna take a look at that man. So, so in my blue example, tangent to the six X, wanna do nothing with that. I'm trying to produce a secant squared. I'm gonna break one off there. S secant squared X, S secant squared X, DX. All right, so we got that secant squared but we've introduced another one. I wish we could get rid of that. 
another Pythagorean identity. I like the way you're thinking. So this is one plus tangent squared x. Is that right? Is that how that secant breaks down? Break it down. Oh, oh. secant squared x dx tangent to the sixth power x. And we're trying to integrate that. Wowzers, yowzers. Here I can go and I can make u. U are gonna be the tangents of x. Hey, okay. nice tan. Um, then du is secant squared x dx. Lovely. I put that piece there, put this piece in both here and there. So now I'm looking at the integral of u to the six power times one plus u squared du. U to the sixth plus u to the eight. Great. Why eight? Because if they have the same base and you're multiplying, what do you do to their exponents? Add them. Yeah, I add them. And then this turns out to be u to the seventh over seven plus u to the nine, fine, over nine, plus my c, the constant of integration. I'm gonna bring that guy right up here. Uh-huh. I'm gonna take it to the top. Show me tangents, where u's are at. So then, this is tangents to the sixth x over seven. Isn't that to the seven? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Plus tangent to the ninth x over nine plus c. And then what? You know. box and a flower. Mm -hmm.